Good morning, my friend. It is another Wednesday. I have not heard back from the recruiter on when my technical screening will be. Needless to say, that's making me very, very anxious. At this point of my job search, I'm four weeks in now. I feel like I have a mini like fight with myself every week. The fight would be, oh my gosh, this is so hard. I haven't heard back from more people or am I ready for this interview or should I go back to school for computer science or data science? Would that make job search a little bit easier? Happened last week, happened the week before, happened yesterday. Obviously, every time I talk myself out of it, I know I didn't choose to do this because it's easy. I knew it was going to be hard. I guess I just didn't know how hard it was going to be, not physically spending time to study, but mentally. When you don't get callbacks, it's hard to think that it's not a you problem. Like, I know in reality that it is not a me problem, and I tell myself that, but when you send out 40 applications and only hear back from two, it's very hard to not think that. And also, what I was fighting myself with yesterday was because I'm in limbo, sort of, with this technical interview, I feel like my entire life, since I know I got a technical interview was consumed by studying like i have a no life anymore i eat i sleep i work and i study i really hope i hear back from the recruiter today she said my interview hasn't been scheduled because their coordinator is really overwhelmed with interview scheduling requests <sighs> just did an hour of sequel and I really had to resist the urge to go on LinkedIn and look at more jobs. Last week I was so focused on studying that I applied to zero jobs and yesterday I realized that's not going to be feasible because if I don't continuously apply then there's going to be a break in my application pipeline that will only prolong my period of job seeking. So yesterday I applied to like three more jobs. Now that the job is back on my mind, like I really had to resist the urge to not look at it when I'm trying to study. Look at how peaceful my kitties are. It must be nice to be able to sleep all day, huh? It must be nice not to have to find a job. I split the last hour of my study session in so many different ways. I could not resist the temptations. So I applied to jobs for 20 minutes. I applied to like two or three. And then I did a little bit of statistics, like central limit theorem, Z test, T test, what's the difference, how p-value and what else did I do? I also kind of read up on uh, case study examples so it was a very scatterbrained hour that I just spent but we gotta we gotta refocus gotta refocus and I keep checking my emails like every 10 minutes to see if the recruiter is letting me know what my technical interview is because I am honestly kind of losing motivation and the concentration to study as evidenced by my last hour of studying. At this point, I think I kind of know that it's not going to be this week. It likely is going to be next week, which isn't great because uh, I'm going to Yosemite this weekend. I know myself and I will not be studying this weekend. Based on my past experience though, if I stop studying 
for a day or two or three or an extended amount of time, things that I remember, I will cease to remember them. Especially SQL syntax. It's not great, but there's nothing I can do about it. I will try my best to enjoy Yosemite. I know that I will. I'm just worried for when I get back from Yosemite and how much anxiety I will have because when I start to practice again, I will notice that I don't remember things. I finished the three hours of studying. The last hour, I was able to concentrate on studying and I did an hour of case studies on A-B testing, um, especially testing design. I saw on Emma Ding's YouTube channel that design questions in A-B testing is one of the most frequently asked questions, so just trying to get it down. I checked with my recruiter yesterday on whether I can look at notes during the technical interview for either my SQL portion or for the case studies portion. And the recruiter told me that I cannot use anything for either of those portions. It's sort of a memorizing game now. Just trying to commit things to memory so that I don't get too nervous during the interview and forget. Now what we're going to do is have some lunch, take a little break, go work, and uh, hopefully I have more time to study the rest of the day. Today we have for lunch a bowl. The top looks like this. But on the bottom, we have quinoa, blackened garlic chicken, which was a little too dry on its so, own, which is why I threw it in here. We got salsa, bean, corn, pickled jalapenos, and different colored cabbage. Sparkling water, and hot Oh, speaking of asking the recruiter, whether I could look at notes during the interview. I was very hesitant to ask that question because I didn't want to come off as incompetent. I looked on Reddit and people have different opinions about whether that would make you look bad. But then I also asked my recruiter friend. She said that in her past jobs recruiting for technical positions, people could look at their notes, so I got my hopes up a little bit. She made a good point of, in your job, you can look up anything as long as you solve the question or the problem at hand, right? I'm not very surprised that the recruiter told me that I can't use my notes, however. Now I just need to memorize the things that I have been having trouble memorizing, such as the expected value and variance and the formula for all the distributions binomial geometric hypergeometric negative binomial poisson to think that i need to memorize the formula to do all of those is a little scary because i am not confident at all that i will be able to memorize it but hopefully you know they don't ask me how to calculate things using formulas on the spot. Like I know under which circumstances I should use which distribution. It's just that I need to look at a formula to like calculate things. And I don't think I gave the recruiter a bad impression by asking whether I can use notes. The chicken is still dry after me putting so many liquid thingies in it. I was also in there, I got yogurt in there. I got like beans and corn with juices in it. It does not counteract just how dry the chicken is. I made it air fry it for too long. The flavor is on point. It's very garlicky, cumin-y. Just so dry. 
This is why I don't cook, because when I do, it doesn't taste good. All right. I'm going to go work for the job that pays now. Well, this is, this is a new angle. You are currently on a shelf on my bathroom wall where I put toilet paper. I'm getting ready to go get dinner with a friend. I was saying earlier that I feel like my life has been consumed by interview prepping. And who knew, my friend just reached out at the same time and asked me if I wanted to go get lunch initially, but I realized that today I have to film, so we changed it to dinner instead. So I'm gonna get some time to hang out with a friend. When I say get ready, I'm just changing from spandex to another pair of comfy shorts that is more acceptable in public. <laughs> Ever since I started working from home, I have just abandoned all desire and need to dress up unless I really want to feel some oomph in my day, you know? So this will do. And I just found a piece of silver hair. Damn. What 30s will do to you? And this is my old TV. We're here at dinner. Look at, look at how gorgeous this looks. I'm on a walk. I eat so much that there is no way I can possibly go home and study right now. I love going on a walk when the sun is setting because everything has this like, look behind me, there's this like golden sheen to it and it's just gorgeous. I've showered, we're back at my desk. I really enjoyed going out to dinner. I really enjoyed walking around. Now we're gonna have to dive back into studying, which I don't quite enjoy at this particular moment. I've enjoyed it another time, it's just not right now. I was talking to my friend Ali over dinner about it, and she said it's definitely not normal to take a full week to schedule an interview. So something is going on. I don't know what it is, nor do I have control over it. So I'm just gonna, you know, wait patiently and study. <laughs> I have migrated over to my bed to study because why study sitting down when you can study laying down? <laughs> the, this working from bed situation is getting a little complicated. I have a cat that wants to cuddle. I think that's a better spot, I think. On some days, working in bed is a great idea. Today is not one of those days. I have a cat trapping my hand. Most importantly, I'm having a hard time concentrating. I'm tired and I keep getting distracted by things like applying to jobs. I know lately I've been talking a lot about how tired I am, how stressed I am with this 
job searching process? I am, but at the same time, I am very grateful for that opportunity to study. On top of that, I knew this job searching process was going to be hard. I didn't choose it because it was easy. I chose it because I wanted it. I haven't had the thoughts of giving up a lot yet, but I am only four weeks into job searching and it's popped up once or twice. I can only imagine if this job searching went on for longer, say like three months or six months. I'm sure the thoughts are going to pop up a lot more frequently. But before I go to bed, I just wanted to acknowledge just how grateful I am for being on this journey, being on this journey with all of you because a lot of you are going through the same thing I am as well. And even though the days can be long and hard, there are still little things that I enjoy. And today that little thing was going out to dinner with my friend and just chatting about random stuff. My life doesn't just stop because I'm looking for a job and yours shouldn't either. Anywho, that is my TED talk for today. Well, I'm going to go to bed now. I am pooped. So I will see you back here again soon. Bye.